hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl k-doll so today's video is going to be a quick tutorial on how i achieved this beautiful burgundy red look from 1b so if you want to see how i got this look then keep watching so guys i'm going in with a 40 percent developer and bleach powder now i will say if you are new to coloring hair maybe don't use 40 percent developer maybe going with 30 because this works very very quick as you can see in the video you'll notice the bottom started to develop quickly so you have to work really fast with this maybe this is because i had 40 percent developer so it works quite quickly and the hair takes to bleach very well this is doled by k straight bundles from my hairline the hair took to the bleach very very well there's no shedding none of that but anyways you don't will see that into the video so as you can see i'm just going track by track and dividing cutting through and bleaching i like to brush through as well while i bleach it and just to like detangle it as you can see, I'm done putting bleach on the whole hair and I'm just having a look to make sure everything's doing fine. I decided to go in again with more bleach at the front part just because I realised I didn't put enough bleach. Anyways, now I'm going in with purple shampoo to tone out my hair and take away the brassiness and I'm just rinsing this and I'm going to let it air dry. This is the next day. As you can see, I'm not too blonde because I was going for like a dark burgundy. So I decided to start like by just cutting out portions and then I was like, no, let me do the watercolor method actually so i went in with all the three reds and i boiled hot water as you can see and i'm just putting my wig in that and just adding more color like i felt like i needed and brushing through it after which i still went in with the hair dye after doing the watercolor method and just went through streaks where i needed it to be a bit more red or i wanted different tones to it so i did a watercolor method first and then i went in with the dye then left this to air dry as you can see that red is popping and it looks lovely now i'm going to blow dry my hair before i start straightening it blow drying it gives a more sleek finish when you want to straighten the hair so i like to blow dry my hair first and then going in with the hot comb just to make sure my closure is flat because we don't do bumpy closures here and then going in with some heat protectant and just doing the same thing. I like to use the hot comb in the direction which I want my hair to lay. So as you can see, I'm going on the side and I'm pushing it backwards because I want it to lay flat. You want to take your time with this process because you want your closure to be very, very flat, guys. Next, I'm going to start sectioning the hair to straighten it. And I'm just using my heat protector. I'm using a Remington straightener. You can get this straightener at Argos. You can get it online. And I decided to go in with a small comb because using a big brush wasn't as effective. As you can see, this hair is moving, movement, this hair has movement, it has life. Guys, let's just take in the colour please. Can we please take in how soft and silky this hair is? Can you see how it's moving and it's not even shedding guys? Anyway, so I'm still going in section by section and I'm straightening my hair. You always want to use heat protectant so you don't damage your hair guys. Always use heat protectant. I haven't put any hair products in this hair yet, but I will later on in the video towards the end. This is literally the hair in its natural state guys. Now I'm going in with my wax stick. This helps to also stop flyaways and keep your closure flat and then you can see me using some hair serum i don't use a lot i only use a tiny amount and i always go for dry oils so they're not heavy and they don't weigh your wig down and that's it guys this hair is basically done i'm just brushing through going over it again with my straighteners just because i like my hair to have a very very sleek look now if it's straight we want it to be bone straight you get me i'm going in with my motion setting foam which i'm going to put on my closure and voila guys this is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video do like share comment and subscribe for more videos like this and let me know your thoughts in the comments let me know if you like this hair and yeah guys i will see you in my next video